Hello. Hi. Sup. I'm <laughs> JR McNamara. This is Kirby McNamara. We're the uh, stars and writers, and I'm the director of the uh, previous film that Rancid Films did called R Zombies. Well, that's R as in Ah Zombies. Not like these idiots here who are doing something called Ah Zombies. Which sounds a little bit more like, ah, zombies, ah, oh, I love zombies. It's not true. You don't read zombies. Well, you can, but it's sick. It's so, disgusting. <laughs> you get you get a bad case of maggot dick, and no one wants maggot dick. So this is wrong. What we said, <laughs> I'm not doing. Look, they're the ones that have gone, ah, zombies, and look, he's waxing her. He's going, yeah, ah, zombies. We're gonna turn that down. And I'll give us <laughs> those losers. They, they originally had this great name called um, Wasting Away, and they changed it to Our Zombies, probably because of the influence of us, your pals at Ransom because Films. Because we're awesome. Because apparently we're... I'm awesome. She's awesome. I unfortunately take a slight bit of the edge off her as awesome, because I'm a little bit awesomeness. Well, not as, not as awesome, I should say. Um, so basically what we're doing is, is that we're about to start filming Our Zombies 2. It's been in plans for about four years now. Never um, got around to doing never it. Never got around to doing it. Why? Well, I know why, because I'm slack. Um, I, you know, you find other things to do. I think it'll be a big change, and I change my hair from long blonde to short blonde to brown. She's had about 30 hairdos. Yeah, in the past five years. And a, and a couple of hair don'ts, I might point out. Remember? I have not! The pink streaks. Oh, okay. The pink streaks. The pink streaks were ahead, don't. Yes. Anyway, uh, so what we've been doing is we're getting prepared um, for our zombies two dead by dawn. And we're finally having more people in this one, which is great. Yeah. Because... So all of you who complained about our zombies only having one zombie, well, we're going to have about twenty this time. Well, maybe not twenty. A twenty would be nice. 20. Twenty would be nice, but it's probably going to be more like eight or nine or ten. It could be 20. It could be 20. It won't be. It could be. It won't be. But we're willing to take anybody who's going to lend a hand. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we've been... Um, the script's been written. Um, we've bought a brand new camera, which is what we're being filmed on now, which is a very nice Canon one. And you can see what's up there. Yeah, we, we're actually watching ourselves, which is far more interesting <laughs> than any film really made in the past 10 years. Yes. Um... So, basically the script's been done, uh, I've got to create a shot list, um, the best thing about doing it, this is, we're just coming to the begin, end of September, beginning of October, and the cool thing about that is, is that it's about to be Halloween time, and so that means there's heaps and heaps of the $2 shops have just, you know, Halloween crap, which is where, wherever the hand went, there it is, it's on the floor, <laughs> yeah. well, we're, the, the hand came from there, and we've bought a few other props and all the rest of it. But today we found something really cool. There was this great Halloween store, I mean department store, with everything that a Halloween needs. And in Australia, we don't even have Halloween properly. Yeah, so That's it ridiculous. was ridiculous. It was like the it was like the David Jones of Halloween store. It was David Bones. <laughs> That's a nice little box. Or uh, <laughs> uh, instead of Grace Brothers, it was Grave Brothers. <laughs> Keep slapping that knee. Thank you. <laughs> And instead of Myers, it was Dyers. How about Michael Myers? Michael, it was Michael Myers. That's what it was. The Michael Myers <laughs> Halloween department store. But this, this shop is um like we we bought a few little bits and pieces. Um, but this shop is massive. So the the, the things that I thought that I was going to have to do by myself, um, which were basically going to be sort of really hand drawn crappy appliances, they actually have a series of of um like neck rips and hand tears and stuff like that. And a chainsaw. A chainsaw. They've got a hundred dollar chainsaw. That's not a real chainsaw, but I went into like a... You have to pay more for a fake one than a real no, one. No, no, a real one's a couple of hundred dollars. Yeah, that, that was a hundred dollars. You'd probably get a real one for a hundred dollars. Probably, but you couldn't accidentally bump somebody with a real one. If you bump somebody with a real one, you'd be going leather face on them. Anyway, they had some really cool stuff there. Um. We're going to go back there either later today or tomorrow to pick up a few bits and pieces. We'll show you what we have picked up when we get it. Um, so basically this is, this is what we're doing here. This is, this is just the first of a, a few sort of making of 
little things for YouTube that we're going to share on Facebook and also on... Um, uh, to show our awesomeness. <laughs> to, show, to show her her awesomeness and the fact that I take the shot of her awesomeness. Um, and also <laughs> our good pals at Digital Retribution. And green and white t-shirt. <laughs> whatever it is that she's representing. Um, so a special thanks to Cane Toad for the awesome t-shirt. Um, th this is We're just going to do this every couple of days just to tell you guys where we're up to. So um, I, I guess... It'll keep me honest and keep me on top of it, but we've got so much cool shit now. And I can't wait to do bloopers. Bloopers is going to be so, yeah. so funny. Hopefully there won't be bloopers. Hopefully, I hope... want there to be bloopers. No. I love There'll bloopers. There'll be bloopers if you keep giggling. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, we, we were originally going to film it here at, at, at the House of Rancid. Um, but my cousins have this giant house with a big backyard that we can film a whole thing of zombies just coming and going around and they have... They've, they've got a bigger house in general, so it means that there's more opportunity for me to manipulate the camera um, for, for shots and be able to do a few sort of, I guess, sort of maybe tricky, hitchcocky sort of bits and pieces, which I couldn't have done here because while we have a lot of room, we have have a lot of space. There are actually a lot of space in small rooms. Like as you can see, this is our TV room, and you can pretty much this is the corner of it, and we're sitting maybe two meters from the TV. And there's a big TV there too, so it's like we're watching an even bigger TV than what we're actually watching. And then there's just another room over there. Yeah, there's so a little arc, so you can't tell if it's two rooms or one room. And, and, and it's just, this, the, the, the place that we're doing out at, which is out at Camden, is just this wonderfully big place that's just going to give us a lot of opportunities to do different things with a camera that I wouldn't have been able to do. So um, I hope you enjoy our, um, our film when we eventually film it. Um, yep. And our commentaries. And our commentaries. And, and these little interstitials, if that's what you'd like to call them. <laughs> interstitials. Um, now, what we're hoping to do is, is um, this, this film will, of course, uh, feature the triumphant return of um, newsreader extraordinaire Jean-Pierre Faux Moustache. Yep. Um, I don't know where he is With right the now. the little cat that can count. The cat, cat that can count, yeah. Or the count that can cat, whatever. <laughs> um, but... Uh, Jean-Pierre Faux Moustache is going to come back. Um, gonna Kirby's going to reprise her role as, as Dawn. Um, we're also going to have a, uh, a, a dealer in ancient Chinese weaponry. We've got these really awesome axes that we're going to use. They're choppers, really. They're not axes, they're choppers. They're small axes. They're choppers. You know, when you see like... Um, a chop shop. <laughs> no, we yeah, like a chop shop. You know when you see uh, Iron Chef and they do everything with one big knife? Can well, you imagine... Get them? Uh, just grab one. They're in that box there. Oh, God. They, they're like Make a hand. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, madam. I believe I ordered the hand job. Anyway, um, what they be, we'll, we'll be able to see one in a minute. But we've got the, these things, which are, are pretty cool, and they, they look like a, a an Iron Chef chopper, but they have like a thigh bone as the handle. Um, obviously realistic. You know, only the. Only the best in metal weapons in, in our in our productions, but I think they look pretty cool. And we'll give you a and, close up. And, and yeah. Okay, so that that's <laughs> so that that's that's basically going to be the um, the secret weapon. In the first R zombies, it was the zombie axe that was kept under the bed. In this, it's going to be the uh, zombie choppers, which will be kept the ancient somewhere. Zombie. Ancient mystical zombie choppers, which will be kept somewhere special. We're not um, going to tell you because we're not going to spoil the movie. Yeah, we're not going to spoil the movie for you. Who'd do that? That's stupid. I would. You do it? Okay, yeah. well, don't listen to what she says. <laughs> okay. uh, anyway, so we'll keep you posted as to what we're going to do. Um, I hope you enjoy, like I said, I hope you enjoy these things. And I hope when I get around to finishing it, because we have we have to film, we're going to film Jean-Pierre Jean, Jean Faux Mustache stuff first, then the uh, ancient Chinese guy, and then we'll go and do all the zombie stuff. Um, that's being filmed on Halloween itself. Uh, and then by the time I edited it and, you know, I'll probably have to find a little bit of music, whether I write that myself with some ridiculous program or we actually find someone who can write music to do it for us, mm. whatever. Um, actually, my guitar, my guitar teacher can write music for movies. Well, maybe we'd be able to get some photos of him in a compromising position uh, and blackmail him into doing music. Yeah. So maybe we could get photo a photo of him having sex with a zombie. Ah, zombies! 
Anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. I, I hope you enjoy these things that we're going to be doing, and I hope you enjoy the eventual movie. So, um, and just ignore the uh, zombies film, because, you know, really, it's quite... Where are uh, zombies? Are, uh, zombies. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> ah! Zombies. Oh, we have four A's, they have three. Yeah. Not to be mistaken. Not to be mistaken, exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much, and we'll catch you soon. Love ya. <laughs>